Now to the mystery illness that can bring on devastating seizures or leave sufferers in agony but unable to move a muscle. Live to reporter Erin Willing. Erin, it's potentially fatal, so why are so many doctors failing to recognise this disease? Look, Cam, although Lyme disease does exist right around the world, here in Australia, health authorities claim they need more evidence before it can be officially recognised. It's a frustrating scenario for thousands of sufferers and their families, and perhaps the scariest part of all is that what causes this disease could be lurking in your own garden. And as you're about to see, the effects can be debilitating. You just think you're going to die. It has affected my whole entire life. I felt like I was in hell and I didn't know if I was ever going to get out of, out of it. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's hard to watch. Come on, Come on. Come on. Maddie's whole body is convulsing. What you're seeing can happen on a daily basis. Breathe. Breathe. And it was something the size of a pinhead that did this to her. I've seen patients who have got very sick very quickly. It's a disease that can strike anyone at any age, and the culprit could be hiding in your own backyard. The tick bite is nature's dirty needle. I totally agree with that. It is certainly carrying many, many germs. This disease is not just a physical burden, but it's an emotional burden as well. It's been more than a decade since Lauren Johnston was fit and healthy. Slowly weeks became months and months became years and I just grew sicker and sicker. The 24-year-old recently contacted a current affair for help after being diagnosed with Lyme disease, a disease that Lauren believes has robbed her of her health, her career and left her and her fiancé with little choice but to sell their home. For a long time, I thought that I was crazy. I thought that the symptoms that were appearing were in my head. Lyme disease is a bacterial infection that's spread via ticks carrying a germ called Borrelia. When the bacteria carrying tick bites its victim, toxins are injected into the bloodstream and begin attacking the body. Once inside, the bacteria can mimic other diseases like Parkinson's, arthritis, multiple sclerosis and motor neuron disease. Every single person who has Lyme disease might have a different combination of co-infections and those co-infections carry different symptoms. So for me, it's things like neurological stuff like seizures, migraines, um, hot and cold sweats, like very flu-like symptoms. Attacking anything from joints to the heart, even the brain, the consequences can be deadly. Lyme disease can be very serious. In fact, you can die from Lyme disease. The blood-sucking pests are found across Australia, hiding in trees and tall grass in bushland, scrub, even our own backyards. The ticks will often jump onto clothing, making their way to any bare skin. In the United States alone, 300,000 cases of Lyme disease have been recorded in the past year. The worst pain I've ever had, ever. It was December 2011. Brett Campbell was mowing on his property when he was bitten. And within two weeks, I had tremendous bad pain all through my whole body. And I couldn't move, I couldn't surf, I couldn't walk properly. Wanting answers, Brett turned to Lyme disease expert Dr Peter Main. Well, Brett came and saw me and he had an absolute classic presentation of Lyme disease. While Dr know. Main was certain Brett had been infected, his blood had to be sent to the United States for testing. Despite thousands of documented cases of Lyme, Australian health authorities are yet to officially recognise its existence in our country. It does frustrate me when I see someone who is seriously sick. Within weeks, Dr Main's suspicions were confirmed. The doctor diagnosed me, issued me with a medication and then I had a pick line fitted to my arm. For the next seven months, he was injected daily with antibiotics and was forced to take up to 40 pills a day. Where do you think that the tick actually bit you? Just down here. That's a scar that formed after the, the tick. Fortunately for Brett, the intense treatment worked and he's now well on the way to recovery. For many others though, a lack of understanding by medical authorities here has led them to take more drastic measures. Matt! Matty, come back. Come back. Matt! 
Sydney woman Maddie Bridgman did just that. After suffering terrifying seizures, she sought treatment at a German clinic to rid her body of the deadly disease. Maddie is one of Dr Kate Wood's many patients and Kate herself is a Lyme disease sufferer. Had nine vials of blood taken out. She was bitten by a tick um, at just 15. I thought it was like a mole or a mozzie part or something. Within a week she began experiencing flu-like symptoms. Then I had you know quite a lot of brain fog and fatigue and I was getting heart palpitations and I saw a lot of doctors, you know, cardiologists saying, you know, it's the strongest heart we've ever seen, you know, we think this is in your head. Once at the top of her game, the former elite athlete had been struck down by the bacterial infection. Nobody could tell me what was wrong. It wasn't until she was bitten again years later that Kate was diagnosed. Yeah, we just made the decision that we were going to spend our house deposit and go to Germany. That felt right for me when I investigated all the options out there. I have one vein and one chance, so start praying. The controversial facility is used to treat cancer and Lyme sufferers from around the world. It combines cutting edge therapies including hypothermia where the body is heated to more than 40 degrees. So Borrelia which causes Lyme is it, it's known that it dies at 105 degrees Fahrenheit. I think I went up to 41.8 degrees Celsius um, over that six hours. Good, now you're going to pull back. To now work. a year on, and Kate is back at work and writing a book to help others like Maddie fight the disease. This is a disease that does exist here. The sooner this is officially recognised, the sooner these people will get all the treatments that they need. While Australian health authorities continue to examine the evidence, doctors on the front line want action now. You can convince yourself that it's rare by simply looking the other way or failing to look at the evidence, but there's plenty of evidence there. Dr Hugh Derham is one of only a handful of general practitioners specialising in the disease in Australia. A lot of patients are quite angry about it. There's a, there's a growing groundswell of... of um, patient activism and anger that will probably result in something positive before too much longer, I should think. But for sufferers like Lauren, that action isn't coming soon enough. Having sold her home, she too is travelling to Germany for treatment. So the trip to Germany is going to cost for three months about 30 grand. Um, and then if I decide to stay for six, apparently it's going to be about $70,000. I would like to see Lyme disease recognised officially in Australia. Uh, these tests have got to come online and be covered by Medicare. I wouldn't want to wish it on anybody at all, that's for sure. It's certainly all too real to those unlucky enough to suffer the symptoms and federal health authorities here continue to investigate whether Lyme disease exists or not. The department statement is on our website.